Wojak wakes up to his alarm at 6 a.m. after only getting a few hours of sleep. He hits snooze a few times, then finally gets up and gets ready for work. It takes a lot of time for him to get ready because he has to put on expensive clothes and look good because of his work strict dress code. By 7.30, he knows he needs to leave or he'll be late, but he doesn't have enough time to make himself any food for lunch. Oh well, he has to leave anyways. Then he spends an hour in traffic driving to work and he gets there just on time at nine. And then right away, he gets to his desk and sees that he has a mountain of boring, stressful work that he has to get done. And he does this energy drain soul crushing work until lunch. For lunch he gets an hour off but he doesn't get paid for it and it's not enough time for him to actually go anywhere. Plus he doesn't have any food prepared so he orders $20 of nasty unhealthy food. And the $20 is more than he makes in an hour. After he eats this food it makes him incredibly tired and he wants to take a nap but he can't because it's time to get back to the soul crushing work. So he gets back to work and by five o'clock he doesn't have all of his work done so he has to stay late. And so he ends up staying an extra two hours unpaid until he finally gets everything done. Then it takes him another hour to drive home in traffic, and when he gets home, he's so exhausted that he can't even cook food for himself, so he ends up ordering more unhealthy food for another $20. Then he scrolls through social media, watches TV, and plays video games until it's time to go to bed at 11. He lays in bed staring at the ceiling knowing that he needs to wake up soon, but he can't sleep because he knows the next day he's gonna have to do the same thing over and over again, and there's nothing he can do about it. But actually, there is. You see, I was in a similar situation to Wojak a few years ago, Ago. I was stuck in a healthcare job working long hours, traveling to and from work, having to buy nice clothes, having to spend a bunch of time getting ready in the morning, and not having enough time or energy to focus on myself and what I want to do with my life at the end of the day. And I had the worst insomnia and I would lay in bed staring at the ceiling. And I would toss and turn for hours and I thought I had something wrong with me. And the truth is, I did. But it wasn't something wrong with me, it was something wrong with the situation I was in. But then one day, a friend of mine told me that he'd gotten a remote job and he was loving it. So I asked him how he did it and if he could help me get one as well. And then he helped me land remote work and it completely changed my life. Working remote cleared up an extra three to four hours a day and it saved me a bunch of energy and money. And I was able to focus on self-development and starting a business in my free time. And I was able to even start traveling the world while working remote. So that's why I'm going to be going over nine new work from home jobs that are actually hiring in 2024 and they don't require a college degree. And the first one on the list is going to be a luxury services associate. And this is a very very interesting position where you basically assist elite clientele with their travel and reservation needs. And in this specific position, you'd be working for Marriott and you'd be assisting people for Marriott's premium properties. And this is actually the largest hotel company in the world. And they're often hiring for this position of luxury services associate. And they start off by paying around $19 an hour, but they only require a high school diploma or GED equivalent. They don't require any work experience and they don't require supervisory experience or licenses or certifications. So yeah, this is a good one to to look into and it is actually a remote job. You don't have to be on site. Probably not something you want to do for the rest of your life, but it could be a good way to get your foot in the door in the travel industry, for instance, if that's something that you want to do. So overall, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 because it's good, but it's not great. And there's going to be some much better ones on the list later on in the video. Next is going to be a Facebook ads specialist. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You're basically going to be running Facebook ads and you're going to have to be decent at both the creative part as well as the analytical part of running the ads themselves. And Facebook literally has billions of daily active users. So it's still very powerful platform. Lots of people are still on it. And it's one of the best advertising platforms out there. There's a really good video I saw of a day in the life of a Facebook advertising specialist. Her name was Maddie, and she basically manages and optimizes campaigns, creates engaging ad copy, conducts competitive research, and enjoys collaborative teamwork. And Facebook ad specialists make about fifty-three dollars to $81,000 a year, which is incredible because you do not need to have a college degree or previous experience or anything like that to get into this role. It's becoming more and more about actually creating the content itself. So the Facebook ad copy, as well as the video or photo that goes on the ad. And content creation is just becoming a more and more valuable skill. And that's actually one of the main questions that I always get in emails or people that ask questions on the channel is how exactly I grew this YouTube channel. And so I do have a free training and resource, which I'll put down in the description in the pinned comment below, which you can check out, which will tell you exactly how to grow a YouTube channel and exactly how I did it. And I also do live trainings Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time, which you can also check out down in the description in the pinned comment below. But yeah, this one's phenomenal. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Quick break, so. I know you guys want to know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote and you also want to know how you can work remote as well and that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram so definitely follow me I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram so it's a really good place to get a hold of me so definitely send me a message on Instagram if you want to work remote and you want help doing that 
Uh, link is in the description and pin comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is a digital enrollment specialist. And this is basically where you turn potential leads into satisfied customers. And it's kind of a combination of sales skills and customer service skills. So they basically onboard new customers digitally. They manage inbound and outbound calls. And in many cases, they do other tasks as well. And they're often hired by healthcare companies. And enrollment representatives make about 52 to $76,000 a year, which is incredible considering you don't need a college degree or previous experience. However, you do need training, but the company will typically provide that training for you. Here's some resources on the screen that might help you land a job. And there's other career paths you could potentially go into. One would be an enrollment supervisor. They make about 59 dollars to $88,000 a year. And then senior levels can make $129,000 to $231,000 a year. So yeah, this is kind of like a marketing slash healthcare position, but also customer service at the same time. And my business partner and I have actually helped a bunch of people get digital marketing jobs. One of them, of course, was Jay, who was previously uncertain of his career path, but he found a career path in digital marketing after stumbling upon a transformative of course, during the pandemic. And within 10 months, he secured a coveted position at Microsoft. And the company that actually helped him get a digital marketing job does have a free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below so you can check it out. Next is going to be a PAT Live virtual receptionist. And virtual receptionists are receptionists, but they're virtual, of course. And they basically use their communication skills to answer calls, schedule appointments, and handle administrative tasks. And virtual receptionists make about thirty-four dollars to $47,000 a year. And they're currently hiring in these areas, but their positions and their growth changes all the time. So they're hiring all the time. This company also has some really awesome perks and benefits and a position that you could move up into down the line would be a customer service manager. They make about 56 to $94,000 a year. So overall, pretty good one. Uh, not, you know, flying off the page, probably not something you want to do forever, but I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, guys, comment down below if you like any of these or you don't like them, or there's ones that I should have mentioned. I always like to read those comments and oftentimes they do make it into future videos. Next is going to be a patient services representative. And this is somebody who manages patient appointments, handles inquiries, and performs various different administrative tasks in a healthcare setting. And in this position, you make about thirty-seven dollars to $49,000 a year. Now, Village MD would be the company that you could potentially get hired for for this position. 680 locations, and they have a workforce of over 20,000 people. So this is a very well-established company. And overall, the company has pretty good ratings on Glassdoor. So in order to apply to this one, you'd go to villagemd.com, then you'd land on this page, then you'd click on careers in the upper right hand corner, click view open positions for the non physician option, then in the job search bar, write patient service representatives remote, or you can just check out the other jobs as well, because there's a lot of them there. And then of course, you'd find it and you can go ahead and apply for the job. And there's other jobs you could get into that are in the same line of work that you could go into down the line. For instance, medical office coordinators make about 42 to $58,000 a year and healthcare managers make 56 to $96,000 a year. So yeah, opportunity score here is a solid 7.5 out of 10. Next is a sales administrative assistant. And this is somebody who basically manages data entry, handles communication, and supports the sales team with various administrative tasks. So a huge part of sales, especially if you're doing high ticket sales, is basically just keeping track of clients. So writing down different problems or needs that the clients have or different complaints that they have, and then following up with them at a future date. And it can be very, very difficult to ask salespeople to both do their sales job and document everything and constantly talk to clients. So this is a role where you can basically be an assistant to the sales team and take a lot of that work off of their plate so that they can focus on doing what they do best, which is selling people. And sales administrative assistants make about forty to $65,000 a year. And that's really good considering you do not need previous experience or a college degree, et cetera. Now there's even other roles you can move into like sales coordinator, they make forty six dollars to $66,000 a year, or even a sales manager down the line, they make $123,000 to $230,000 a year. So yeah, pretty good opportunity. Uh, I always say that everyone should do a sales job or a sales related job at least once in their life. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a billing coordinator. And this is somebody who basically processes Processes invoices and ensures accurate reimbursement for healthcare services. And they're typically hired by medical facilities or something like a home infusion service. And here's a lady who talks about a day in the life of a medical biller. And she basically manages medical billing, office administration, bookkeeping, checking emails, coordinating with providers, posting payments, and resolving insurance claims. So she's a bit of a jack of all trades. And it's good for people who like a variety of different things.
things to do throughout the day. And billing coordinators make about forty-four dollars to $57,000 a year, which is pretty good considering it's a career that doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. And you can go into other careers down the line. Billing supervisors, for instance, make fifty-eight dollars to $89,000 a year, and billing managers make fifty-eight dollars to $94,000 a year. So might not be the most glamorous job, but it's definitely necessary. Might be a little bit boring as well, but it's also a really easy way of getting your first remote job, getting your foot in the door, and then later on down the line, you can move into something else. And this would be especially good for you if you want to work in the medical field. So yeah, I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be a real estate acquisition specialist. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You basically help companies that invest in real estate, contact the real estate owners, and then eventually acquire their properties. Now, a really interesting fact here is that one in 10 Americans sell their home due to paranormal activity. So if you could somehow figure out what homes have paranormal activity, that would probably really help you in this position. And in this position, you can make about 62 to $106,000 a year, which is absurd considering you don't need a college degree or previous experience to get into it. However, it is definitely a put up or shut up type position. You absolutely have to perform. Now, there's lots of different resources online that you can learn about the field. I'll put up some really good resources on the screen right now. You can check them out if you'd like. And there are also other career paths you can move into down the line that are really lucrative. So senior acquisition specialists, for instance, make 93 to $161,000 a year. And acquisition managers or directors of real estate make 115 to $214,000 a year. So lots of opportunities here. And overall, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, guys, share this with a friend who needs to see it, maybe a family member or someone who just needs to get a job. We don't have a big marketing department. We don't spend a bunch of money on paid sponsorships or anything like that. So we just work really hard on our content and we rely on word of mouth for people to basically just message it to other people. And that's how we grow. So I really appreciate it if you share that with someone else. Next is going to be an implementation associate. And this is somewhere that's great for you if you have a knack for organization and you want to work in healthcare, because this is a position where you manage the setup and maintenance of healthcare benefits accounts. And you're typically going to be hired by healthcare organizations or insurance companies. And here's a video on the day in the life of an ADP implementation specialist in case you're interested in it. And she basically talks about how she handles incoming calls for new ADP clients, assists with account setup and tax compliance and ensures positive client experience. And implementation associates make about 54 to $82,000 a year. And there's other career paths you can go into that pay even better. For instance, senior implementation associates make 82 dollars to $140,000 a year and implementation managers make about 78 to $141,000 a year. So this one's pretty good. Another one of those super random healthcare related careers that are pretty good, easy to get into, very stable. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, if you haven't seen it already, I did make a video on the 17 work from home job companies that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.